All right, welcome to a Christmas edition <laughs> of the Blue Dragon Buzz podcast featuring Blue Dragon Buzzers. Yeah. We're going to have maybe a couple people decorate. Um, we got a ton of holiday decorations that we're going to put up in here. Um, should be should be fun. So proud of that. I am, yes. It'll be so fun. I, I think we have more for Halloween than we do for Christmas. Correct, yeah. I'm Just thinking about putting... Oh, Look at that. centerpiece. A golden brown centerpiece. Wow. What is it? Oh, that's the turkey. <laughs> <from> the turkey, <laughs> yeah. If you're a watcher, you know what that's from. Okay, so I have a list of uh, top ten Christmas movies that are my own list. And um, I'm going to go through these with Nora and Kaylin and Josh, mostly Josh. And they're going to tell me why it should be on there, why it should not be on there, um, or what should be taking its place. You good with that? Yep. Yeah. Yep, excited. So ecstatic. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so we kind of changed some things so around jolly. a little bit. Josh and I are more kind of centered. We're going to try to get, again, these Christmas decorations. Bryn and Addie are going to work on that. So are we ready? Yeah. You guys just want me to start with my number 10, or you want me to start with my OLI? Should we have made a O-L-I? list? Um, no. no, we're going to go off of my list, and then afterwards we're you guys can tell me which ones I, that you guys would take oh, out okay, and which okay. ones that you would add. Okay, we're going to yep. critique yep. his list. Though. But I did do okay. a top 10. Normally I do top 5. I went okay. with 10. Because there are a lot of Christmas movies. There's a lot of great Christmas movies out there. Yeah, Yeah. let's start with... OLI um, is Outside Looking In. Never seen it. I've never seen it either. No, those are... Oh. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) It's a category. I just bit the mic. Um, (laughs) It's like honorable mention. Yeah, like honorable mention. They're they're the ones that didn't quite make the list, but are considered as maybe they jump in the top ten and then are out. Like Are you starting with that? Let's go with our... Yeah, do that. So my Outside Looking In, I only have one. And I added it today after I told Josh... I love this movie, oh and it yeah. should be in my top ten. I put. I can't have you look at this. I can't have you look at this. Spirited. I Spirited <gasps> is on Apple TV. Oh, it I is watch that. with Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds, two great actors, and it's a musical. Is that new? Love musicals. New last, last year. year. Yeah, I want to see it. It's pretty good. I I agree. It's not quite top ten, but it doesn't have the sustainability yet. Exactly. Like it's, it needs if more it was time. Released, you know, back when. Back when you were a kid? Yeah, exactly. It's pretty good, though. It'd I mean, be, it, like, again, it's got two of the funniest people on earth, Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell, and they sing, and I love singing. I feel like Will Ferrell's in a lot of, like, Christmas movies. Two but for I'm, sure. But I'm not complaining because <laughs> he's so good. <laughs> Three. What's the third? Daddy's Home 2. That's oh a Christmas gosh. movie? Yes, it is. Okay, we should establish what's Christmas movies Die because hard. Josh and I argued yesterday about Die Hard, we which it's... Did. it. it I'm actually on your side. I think it's a Christmas movie, but I didn't Never put it on my list it. because it's not a Christmassy movie. It's not top ten, but it is a Christmas. But Daddy's Home Two is not a Christmas movie. Yes, it is. I don't know about that. The whole thing revolves I've around never Christmas, seen it, so maybe I, I shouldn't. Mm. I've never seen it. So the whole thing. Yeah, true. So yeah, yeah, she's got a point. The whole thing revolves around Christmas. Like they sing a Christmas song together at the end. So my entire list <laughs> is it's not played until Christmas. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch this movie in July. Yes, it's a it's a sequel to Daddy's Home, which would make it something you would watch at any time. It's not a Christmas only movie. I, you know what? I kind of agree with Nora. It's yeah. more of a Christmas movie than it's not. But it's a sequel. You can't have a okay. sequel be a non Christmas and then oh, it's a Christmas movie now. I feel aren't, like aren't all the Die Hard maybe I'm wrong. sequels not Christmas movies? Correct, <laughs> got me there. Oh. All right, number oh. ten. Number ten, I have Home Alone three. Home Alone three, three. did crack my top ten. Home Alone 3 is the one with the uh, non-Kevin McCallick, not, uh, what's his real name? Uh, Macaulay, Mac- Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin, thank you. And Cole, Cole, it's Cole. the one, the kid that has chicken pox, he stays home. Um, he keeps uh, crying wolf, calling the police because he knows that there's these robbers, uh, thieves or whatever. And they, yeah. Anyway, I it's one of my favorite Home Alones just, in the case, just because of all his uh, traps. He's got very good traps, and I enjoyed it. So we're starting off terribly. <laughs> I have any. Uh, you seen Home Alone three? I, I have. It's been a it. long time. Yeah, it's been a long time. I can't yeah. get into it. It's just like Kevin McAllister, Macaulay Culkin is the OG. Is, he is the Home Alone franchise. I don't think anybody else can do it. Yeah. Yep. I I agree. That's why both my other Home Alones are higher with him on yeah. this list. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, yeah. I, okay. I but but I I just enjoyed it. I enjoyed the parrot or whatever it is in there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, Jack. You know, all that stuff. Number nine. <laughs> the Grinch. <laughs> the new animated Grinch from 2020. No, I hate that. I have not seen that one. That's a pretty good one. I have not seen that one. 
I thought the movie. Benedict Cumberbatch uh, playing the Grinch was an odd choice, um, but I very much enjoyed is enjoyed the Grinch it. In that movie? Yeah, he's the voice. I didn't even he's know. That. Oh, yeah. Okay. The Grinch just creeps me out in general, so I will not watch it. I um, love the original Grinch. Yeah, I liked. I don't know. I just enjoyed this one because of it was a little bit different. Grinch. It didn't. Yeah, it wasn't the same like storyline. Yeah, it was a little bit different. But I really enjoyed the animals in it. Thought it was funny. Yeah, um, I liked how uh, yeah. Tyler the Creator. Was oh, the I like that song. Yeah, yeah. 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 Were so good. yeah, I just thought it was just a different spin on it. I don't know. I enjoyed it. I I really yeah. liked the animated part of it. So. I don't know. I really, I really love the live action. Oh yeah. He live just does action. It. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one the with Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey. Yes. Um. So let's just get this out of the way now. Jim Carrey Grinch is not on my list. Yeah. I. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is an unpopular opinion. That's I know so that crazy. your guys' generation love that one because of being young when it came out. And Jim Carrey is awesome. He's Morning. hilarious. Morning. He's funny. Oh, but he's not on my list. But it's not on my list because it's a terrible movie. How? It's awful. The Who's are terrible. I don't like the Who characters at all. I don't think there's one Who character that I like. I enjoy. I don't like the 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 mayor and all of that. It, it, it's just there's plot holes. It's it, it doesn't con- it doesn't r- go like free. It's just weird. It's just hey Jim Carrey, just be funny the entire movie, and it doesn't have to make sense. It works. It which worked. is all it is. It which worked. it is funny. It there are work. funny parts in it, but it's not on my top ten because it's not a good movie. Well, it's like not enjoyable it to watch. makes I've so much I've sense. I have not one time in the seven or eight times that I've watched it with my kids, I've never been able to sit through the whole thing. It's too long. You haven't it's even too finished confusing. it? No, I've finished it. I've watched all okay, the pieces all at right. some point. Oh my God. But it's like, okay, I've been here for an hour, and it's the same thing over and over again. I just don't like it. It's not enjoyable It to is watch. really long, but I, I just think Jim Carrey, like, He's hey, hilarious. Be, be funny for two hours. It works. Anyways, yep. back to my part. I think that the who people, so like, it just makes so much sense. Like, the way, like, their face sh- is shaped and stuff and their hair. And in the animated version or whatever, the little Cindy, Cindy, Cindy Lou, Lou who? who has two pigtails. That's so not Whoville. That just, like, ugh, just makes me mad how, like, you could have done oh, so much. Oh, the new animated one? Yeah, you could have oh. done so much more with her hair because it's animated. But, no, you do yeah. two pigtails. I do That's like what made me the most mad. Yeah, I, I think like I think Cindy Lou does have two pigtails in the book. In the she book. does, but in the movie, uh, in, in the, the movie, like yeah, I know, Jim but Carrey, Jim Carrey they the have the her like they have the big bun in the middle, yep. and then they have the pigtails, and go then the little thingies the going yeah, out here, yeah. and like like Whoville is supposed to be super wacky, yeah. Weird, weird, like the cars are weird, the instruments are weird, the people they didn't are weird. Really do that in the in the animated? No. One. Oh yeah, I still like the animated. It's good, but I prefer the. Yeah, Jim Carrey's Jim funny. Carrey. Movie's terrible. The Who characters are terrible. Yeah, I don't need a love story between the mayor and whatever her name is. It's stupid. I thought that was pretty funny. Dumb movie. A right. flashbacks to the Grinch when he's younger, that shaving I love off that his part. That sideburns. So I mean, bye bye. We don't. I don't. I don't. I don't need that. I don't need that in right. my Grinch movie. We know that uh, the reason. We know that he doesn't like. I don't need. I don't need the backstory. I like the backstory. It's not good. I like the backstory. Movie. I like Number the little Number eight is Home Alone two. <gasps> Home Alone two. Escape from New York. Um. Great movie. Great movie. Mav. What is this good. one, number eight? Mav. This is number eight, yeah. I have it higher, actually. Yeah, yeah. I could have put this one higher. I have it higher Wait, than Home Alone 2? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, um, I can't put it higher than the original because the original is what brought plane. it about. So I just what happens? Yeah. But it is a very good movie. I love it. Plane. I should put this one higher. I agree with that. Yeah. Number seven, I have Polar Express. <gasps> really like Polar Express. Wow, Gives me the Christmas cool. feels. Um, I think it was J Dubs yesterday said something about it makes you want hot chocolate. Was that you, J Dubs? Hot, hot. Ooh, yeah. we got it. Should Love I play that song? Love the hot chocolate part. Love the singing. Wait. Love the Tom Hanks characters, all that stuff. Don't. I also think it's like overplayed a little bit. Um, I don't get. I don't watch it enough during the holiday season. <laughs> like it's just a classic. So Wait. everyone's seen it. They are over it already. You know. I'm not. I'm over it. I, I mean, love. You guys stay here I love yeah, the Polar we, Express. It's my favorite movie. It's definitely my top five. Nice number six. <laughs> I have the Grinch, <laughs> animated 1960s. <laughs> Gotta go with the original That's Grinch. I agree um, with that short and sweet. Um, gives you everything about the Grinch's heart growing inside. It gives you all the information in a short amount of time, and it doesn't carry on for three and a half hours or whatever that Wait, that's is. number six? Number six. Okay. I have Valid. a little lower, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> number five, I have a Christmas story. I actually don't, like, really enjoy this movie. Like, all like this is more just nostalgic. It's not, like, a great movie. I used um, to love it. It has some good staples. The dad is, I love the dad in this, in yeah. this movie. He's really, just, I just, I enjoy that. I love the... 
the leg, the all that stuff is good stuff. Yeah. Quotable. Very quotable. Um, number four, I have the original Home Alone. Okay. Yep, good one. Yeah, good number one. Th- number three, I'm going through these fast because I think these are on everybody's list and yeah. they're just in my top five because they're on everybody's list. Number three, I have the Santa Claus, Tim Allen. Oh, I forgot about yeah. that. that. I was I watched absolutely. that the other day. I would have had no that one more. Sure that number two is better than number one? That's no, absolutely false. No. Yeah. I like number three. I number two was awful. Yeah. Number two was yeah. the one where it's the fake Santa where they like make a clone. The Yeah. That nah. one was and the, isn't that where he's got to find a wife? Otherwise, he yeah. That one was bad. I like the third Number one two? with Jack. I just don't like Can't it be. because of the fact that, like the little Charlie's growing up and uh, he's got his voice is changing. Yeah. And, uh, it's just like they made a show. Made yes, um, the they show do. Is at Neverland <laughs> is the show good? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's a little bit like uh, yeah. Oh, it kind of so the show is stupid, but the show is good. Yeah, you like number two, so yeah, you exactly. Where are you at? Where are you coming from? Invalid. That's what two did to me. That's what three did to me. I'm like, no, it's the Santa Claus. Did you know in the original writing of that, the original script had Tim Allen k- eliminating uh, Santa Claus? What? Like, at, like physically? Yeah, like he on said purpose? it. He said he said it was hilarious. Like he was just on <laughs> Jimmy K- Jimmy Fallon or something and, and said it, and it was like he goes, it was so funny. He goes, I wish they would have left it in, but I I understand the Disney stuff, not. But that's yeah. number two, Elf, Will yep. Ferrell, so hilarious. Good, so good. Love it. Um, I actually have Santa Claus over Elf. No, just really. I like I like Elf, but I think it's kind of like Polar Express. It's a little bit overplayed. Yeah, it is I overplayed. agree with that. Yeah, like it's. I yeah. love it. I, mean, I so love Elf. Santa Claus. I part. love. I love the. Still a great movie. I'm singing, and you're my dad, and I'm singing. Like I'm in a store, and I'm singing. Just for the same thing, like Jim Carrey was super hilarious for The Grinch. Like I, the love whole movie. I love you, I love you, I love you. His ignorance and everything to me was just yeah, awesome. Really good movie. Loved it. Um, number one, Christmas Vacation. Uh, most quotable movie of all the Christmas movies, other than Elf, is right up there. Um, you serious, Clark? It, if you can stand the test of time, would that come out? 1989 or something like that? It and was earlier. Maybe more. Look it up. Um, but Christmas Vacation, by far my favorite. And I love that opening. 89. Thank oh. you. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's still popular. Yeah, exactly. Like you can't, not, you can't yeah. I actually just watched that for the first time a couple years ago. Wow. I watched Christmas it in July vacation. this year. Should I play the song? Vacation. July. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Should I play the song? Yeah. I watched it oh. so much. So. It's pretty good. That's my top ten list. What are what's missing from my list and what needs to be out of it quickly? Uh, Home Alone three, get it out of here. Yep, Just bye. Okay, it's number ten. So yeah. I, I actually I, like that one. I don't have an argument on that. I would replace it with the Grinch. So yeah, obviously, is it a, is it a consensus there. that you guys think the Grinch Jim Carrey version needs to be in this top yes, ten? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So Home Alone three, out of here. What else? Grinch I wish I could see on. it. I forgot what you said. Uh, yeah. Um, the Grinch 2020s, you want that one out? No, I like that, that one. That one can stay. The Grinch 60s, I think it should go lower. Yeah. Okay, like, like that one would be close to like an 8, 9, 10. Yeah, kay. I think it'd be the number 8. I'd be, I'd be good with moving that one around. Yeah, that one's number 8 for me, personally. Um, are there any other Christmas movies that I'm missing that you guys are like, oh my gosh, really? I can't believe you <gasps> didn't even mention it. What's What's the one with Jack Frost? Santa Claus 3. Oh, are you talking about the like one the with the... Like the animated, the... Uh, oh. <gasps> like the Jack... Oh, with the That's snowman? such a good movie. With the snowman one? Uh, I don't it's remember what it's animated. Yeah, it's called... It's just called Frost. No, you guys completely forgot about, about... That's not animated. I like the one with Michael Keaton. It's called Frost. I don't think so. The one with Michael Keaton? Where he's no, like in Jack a band and he died like and uh, gets hit by a snowplow? Oh, the um, animated with the white... Ha- yes. Oh, the yeah. Yeah. That one's good. That, that one's really good. That was my favorite movie. That's a Christmas I, movie. Oh, I yeah. Like it. Christmas. Well, there's Santa Claus. consider like that. It. It's good. What did you say, Nora? We didn't. Uh, you guys totally forgot about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, no, we talked about yeah. that a little bit yesterday. That's, yeah. Um, in the claymation, how we kind of like those, but I, I couldn't put them in over any of these. Yeah, you can't. Like I would I can't put that put as an OLI. My whole list can't be nostalgic. So I like my one nostalgic okay. one I put in was the old Grinch. Yeah. Frosty the Snowman. Um, I, I think really those like are all the, b- the bunny are comes out of the guy's hat. Happy birthday with his hat on Frosty. <laughs> That's pretty funny. My kids laugh at that every time. Um, Any other ones? I think a Happy Christmas birthday, story. Happy <laughs> <laughs> That was probably exactly closer to that. I think a Christmas story should go lower. Yeah. 
Um, it's it, a staple. It's I've never I mean, seen that one. If you have a movie, if you if you if you play a mo- if a movie has made it to twenty four hours on Christmas Eve, it plays all day long. Like it's an automatic top oh, yeah. five. I think that's why I put it at five. They play it for twenty four oh, hours yeah. straight. That's that's a good point. That's crazy. It is a I don't really think I've ever movie. seen it fully through. Yeah. I think we should give an honorable mention to all of the ones that are about like. A Prince for Christmas. Oh, all Hallmark movies? Well, that's all not Hallmark. Hallmark but like all Hallmark movies are not a qualified. A I, I will have to put in OLI the night before. That yes. That one's pretty oh good. It's a rated R, oh. but that one's pretty good. Oh. With Seth Rogen? Yeah. Christmas Chronicles. <laughs> Christmas Chronicles, never seen them. Hated the them. first one's like good. Em. I couldn't get into it. The second one's not good. The little I elves in it are weird. I did not like the first one either. I like the I song that he sang in the j- How about Christmas with the Cranks? That's pretty good. Mm, not I don't really 10, like that one. I think it's You know what? Boring. I do have another OLI. Mm. Um, my other OLI is Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Good movie. <gasps> oh, Great movie. no. Okay, you know what's really good? I'll Be Home for Christmas. Oh, J- JTT. Mm. Little Jonathan Taylor Thomas action. Yeah. Um, please, please. You know, let us know what we missed. But um, obviously, that's a pretty good top 10 list. Yeah, Maybe a couple couple in, couple out otherwise. But yep. the staples are in there in the top five. You got to watch them. You got to watch Home yeah. Alone, Santa Claus, Elf, Christmas Vacation. Christmas Story. Christmas yes. Story, Home Alone 2. Ooh, all the Christmas Carol should be in there. And um, oh, Christmas Carol. Yeah. He completely we should really be talking about which wow. which one of the Christmas Carols between all the versions of Christmas Carol. I, I like actually like the Jim Carrey animated one uh, quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, Bill Murray oh. one's pretty good. Christmas Carol's pretty good. Now you, now like, you Jim like Jim Carrey. You guys, I love Jim Carrey. I am Jim Carrey. Whatever. Okay. I am a mix of Adam Sandler and Jim Carrey on a daily basis. That's All right. That's, that's it for now. Thanks for watching Blue Dragon Buzz Bye. Podcast. Uh, stay tuned for more.